Hello, Scorpio. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Wisdom and Light. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and stopping by. If your sun, moon, Venus, or rising just so happens to be in this intense, dope, and sexy sign, <laughs> this message is for you. How are all of my Scorpios? Last month was crazy, right? But I feel the energy is much lighter for Scorpio in the month of April. Happy April. Happy spring. And we're going to be getting into these messages. We're going to be pulling some oracle cards. I just have them to the side right now. We're going to be using my tried and true original Rider Waite deck. Can never go wrong with the original. And we're just going to be tapping in. Now keep in mind, guys, this is a general message. So not every message is going to resonate. We are reading for a big group of scorpions, male and female. So just grab what, grab what is speaking to you. And I hope it does something for your soul. And I hope it helps you navigate and move forward in the month of April. Okay, so that's what I got to say. And um, another heads up, if you guys hear any noises, like my family, because my niece is here. I'm watching over her for spring break. So I've been very occupied with her. They're about to have a little pool party later on. So if y'all hear any activities or my cat crying, sorry about that. But I just wanted to throw that disclaimer in. All right, Scorpio. Scorpio, what I heard for you just now, the answer to your question is yes. <laughs> the answer to your question is a big yes. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. Ooh, da, 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 da. Some of you are not letting go of something. We spoke about this in March. Some of you are some of you guys are still in this energy. You guys are still in this bullshit. Or you guys are just not letting something go. God. Okay. Well, I already said what I had to say in March. If you guys are still in that shit, then I don't know, honey. I don't I don't know. I can only just be like, I, I hope y'all choose to just move on from it. Cause it's it's just not serving you to be in this energy, right? We have the star and we have the knight of pentacles. So whatever that you guys are just not trying to move on from, you guys will do that in your own pace. And I trust that you will. I trust I trust that you will get out of this funk or you will get out of the need to still be in this energy. I trust that you will forgive this person. I trust that you will let this go. I trust that you will admit maybe you overreacted. I trust that you'll do that. And if you're not ready to do that right now, that's fine. That's cool. Okay? That's fine. But... On a brighter note, on a happier note, the star, the knight of pentacles, the nine of wands, two of swords. Okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> Underneath that, I don't give a damn, I'm not doing this. You guys have the biggest heart, the biggest, biggest heart. So big, it's so mushy too. You guys are so cuddly, but nobody knows this about you unless they actually know who you are. I say this because Scorpio, this month, I actually feel, hear me out, I actually feel like you're gonna have a change of heart. The answer to your question is yes. I do miss this person or yes I am in love or yes this is happening or yes I am pregnant or yes I am moving or yes all that is good or all that I need to know is happening right now all of this and I have hope so Scorpio I feel that it's okay and it's perfectly fine to celebrate this breakthrough even if you're embarrassed to celebrate it. You could be in love with somebody that you never thought you were going to be in love with. You could miss somebody and you didn't want to miss them. You could actually accept someone's apology. And this is not to say that Scorpios are not forgiving. You guys actually are forgiving. It just depends on if the apology itself is actually coming from a genuine place, right? But I actually feel that you guys are going to forgive this person. Or you're going to forgive yourself. Or there's going to be a happy ending here. Because Scorpio, you're letting your wall down. You're letting your wall down. And this is going to be happening within the next two weeks. You're moving forward. And, and Scorpio, it's, it's not because 
you want to run into the sunset and live happily ever after with this person for some of you but it's really because I don't want to be in this energy. Now, some of you are choosing to stay in that energy and I don't feel like that's healthy. I don't feel like it's good for you. And I feel like it's only depleting from how beautiful you are and it's taking away from your essence and it's not making you be seen in a good light for some of you, not all, for some. If you stay in that energy, then just know that it's only going to get worse and worse because people will paint you out to be the bad guy. And that's normally what people do. People make Scorpio the villain of the Zodiac and they're not the villain of the Zodiac. I don't think anyone really is. I just think we all have our character traits and maybe Scorpio is just, they're more intense and they're written just like how Gemini is stereotyped, Scorpio is stereotyped as well, right? And I just feel that rather than living up to that stereotype you guys could actually show who you really are the problem is it's like i don't want to show who i am because when i did they fucked me over so i'm gonna be that bitch i'm gonna be that person i'm gonna i'm gonna show them right but scorpio that's not the energy that you even want to be in I, I feel like it's actually exhausting you to be in this energy it's actually exhausting you to keep to keep walking on thin eyes or to keep playing chess with this person scorpio i just feel like you want to take off your bra you want to take off your shoes you want to take off your clothes and just be like let's just chill okay i'm tired of this shit i'm tired of fighting i'm tired of worrying i'm tired of overthinking i'm tired of stressing you want to just run away you want to just get married you want to just stop doing this you want to just be cool i'm I, i'm i'm over it you want to be over it because i'm over it like that's the vibe that i'm getting from scorpio you guys are just literally like i have hope I want to just start over and just do something more practical. But at the same time, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But if I do that, will it be reciprocated? So you guys are just kind of like in between worlds. Just like, do I trust this? Do I want to move forward with this? Scorpio, it's up to you with this energy being here. Now, for Scorpios that are thinking about career, all of you should be. I mean, all of us are. You guys are making decisions about your career. Do I want to change it? Do I want to level up do i want to start that business do i want to move do i want to make this happen a lot of you are thinking you're deep in contemplation if you want to change something up because scorpio i do feel like some of you are tired of doing the same thing over and over some of you don't want to work for somebody anymore a lot of you just want to break free a lot of you want to just let it go i keep hearing the song from um frozen let it go such a cliche song but literally that's the song that's the song that i'm hearing for you guys you guys just want to just be like just i want to run free i i keep seeing somebody running through a field just free just free just just running in a field like i'm free i don't gotta feel this way anymore i don't gotta be mad anymore i don't gotta be in my head anymore and scorpio i'm also picking up that you could have somebody encouraging you to stay in this energy so let's talk about that you might have somebody it's kind of like misery loves company so i, I want to just bring this up because it's not for all scorpios but for some misery loves company if you're beefing with your man if you're beefing with your girl and you have your homeboy or your home girl they're really like yeah my girl is this my girl is that it's da, 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 da. you know this person like she's fake he's this he's that Scorpio here's the thing though you know deep in your heart that you're going to make it right with this person or this person's going to come back and you're going to just jump into their arms even though you're not admitting to that you know that it's just going to be a happy ending or you know that it's all going to resolve itself for some Scorpios but you have somebody in your ear that's like kind of encouraging you to stay in this energy for some of you not all of you and I'm here to say think for yourself Scorpio because your intuition has never failed you and maybe just maybe you allowed somebody to kind of take you away from your own intuition to where this person has ruined friendships relationships they've broken you away from your people from your crowd from your soul family you could have been in a relationship where the person was just not getting along with your family and they pulled you away from your family they pulled you away from what mattered they pulled you away from your career there's definitely someone around scorpio where i feel that this person just loves your company and they're like an energy vampire on you guys so it's just not good to keep this person too close and you need to make this decision to break free from this cycle because you guys normally don't stay in this energy for too long but you could have outside influences that is encouraging you to do that also scorpio pay attention to the music that you're listening to are you listening to music that's very volatile that's very um um what's the word that's very um argumentative that's very problematic even are you listening to music that encourages this behavior you have to ask yourself that 
but Scorpio you could have somebody and it, there's even like something of a vibe of people instigating stuff too somebody could be instigating for you to have a problem you know what I'm saying remember that misery loves company and you need to think this through on your own you need to handle this on your own you could even be dealing with like your best friend is speaking so negatively about your partner but only you know what's going on between you and your partner so limit what you say to this person Scorpio and just focus on the decision that you have to make that's in front of you Scorpio but circling back to other Scorpios in this reading because again we're reading for so many and I'm picking up on so many different messages so many different like scenarios right now so I'm really trying to keep up so everybody grab something from this reading Scorpio again it's okay to admit that maybe you overreacted and you're in love with this person or you want this to actually work or you want this to be good or you want to start dating again you don't want to be alone anymore it's okay it is okay or Scorpio it's okay to admit that you're scared that's another thing too it's okay to admit that you're scared and it's okay to admit that you're not sure on how this change is going to affect your life it's almost like a lot of you are changing your career and you don't know if this new career is going to be what you love or you could be and you could be in this energy of I'm about to start this job tomorrow first thing in the morning it's my first day and I'm scared I don't know I'm not sure or I don't know if this is going to be the same or if and in Scorpio you don't have anything to worry about Knight of Swords take charge go after it you don't have to worry about anything Scorpio okay don't worry about it. I feel that you're going to do amazing, Scorpio. You're going to do such a great job. Page of Swords. There's that energy. I feel like there's, there's like an instigator here. There's like an instigator here. Or you could just be like not willing to bend out of fear. You know, the King of Wands. The Fool card. Oh, okay. That card fell up. Let's see. What is this card? Justice. This person that could be instigating something, it could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Another vibe that I'm getting also is Pisces. There is someone around you, Pisces, or Pisces. I'm also hearing um, Leo. Yeah, there's someone around you that's just kind of encouraging this behavior or encouraging you to be scared or encouraging you to not believe. You have a negative Nancy around you, Scorpio. Please just don't listen to this person. If you want to do it, do it. Okay? If you want to do it, just do it. Now, I want to talk a little more about Scorpio and their love life because that's coming through as well. A lot of you are just sitting in deep meditation I still love this person or I still actually wanted to work and I'm embarrassed that I love this person or I'm embarrassed that I wanted to work or I'm in love with this person and I'm so happy with this person but wait am I moving too fast is this happening too quickly it's like a lot of you are just like I I, I, I gotta run and tell her I gotta go find her I gotta go find him I gotta tell him like I'm, I'm tired of I'm tired of lying to myself. Scorpio, you don't like it when people lie to you, but you've been lying to yourself. You've been lying to yourself. You don't want this shit anymore. You're tired of it. The answer to your question is yes. This is exactly how you feel for a lot of you. You just want this to stop. You're like, what are we doing? Like, I, I keep seeing. It's like you guys are fighting. It's, you know what it is? Oh, my God. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Y'all know that movie. And I haven't done that reading on them. I'm about to do a reading on them real quick. Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. I didn't forget. If y'all follow me on Ask Wisdom, y'all already know Ask Wisdom is lit as hell. Like, if you are not following me on Ask Wisdom, I mean, I'm not letting anybody new follow me as of right now. Circling back to the reading, right? Circling back to your space. It's, um, circling back to your reading. It is very... Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Oh my God. I That's what I saw. B Mr. and Mrs. Smith. If y'all want to understand what this energy is, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. If you haven't seen the movie, just see the movie. But the energy in this reading, in your love life for Scorpio, or in your friendship life, or realization, is Mr. and Mrs. Smith. You're blowing up the house. You're, you're flipping shit over, you're mad, you're upset. You did this for like literally four months now. You're mad. But then the person is like, what are you doing? And you're like, I don't fucking know. You just got me over here crazy. You know I'm crazy. Like a lot of you Scorpios, you guys are like, why you got me like this? You know I got a temper. 
So it's it's like stop fighting. Stop. Enough. You love this person or this person loves you or it's just not in your energy to stay fighting Scorpio. You're tired. Stop fighting. If you're not fighting anyone, you're fighting something within yourself. Stop. Stop it. Move on. Move on. Scorpio, this ain't it. This is actually God. The hair fin is like step into the beat of your own drum. Release this. Move on. You love this person and they love you. Or you want to be in a relationship. You don't want to. You're, you're not trying to be the strong, independent person 24-7. You, you want to date. It's like, you know what? Yeah, I cry at night because I'm by myself. I'm not a bad bitch all the time. I'm not a powerful person all the time. I want to be held. I want to be cuddled. I want love. I want chocolate. I want, I want sex. I want to travel. I want all of these good things. But people are not cooperating. <laughs> That's the vibe. So Scorpio, when you admit that to yourself, you instantly will start attracting it. So I say stop lying to yourself. Don't lie, for, don't lie to yourself. All of this is for you. Like The universe wants to give to you. They can only give if you're honest with you. Be honest with yourself, Scorpio. <laughs> this reading is so funny. Because it, it's actually you guys kind of like, well, I don't want to be the bad guy anymore. I don't want to be mad anymore. I actually want to come back. Like, that's the, <laughs> that's the vibe that I'm getting for Scorpio right now. You guys are funny as hell. I love Scorpios. You guys are funny to me in a good way. It's just, this is just only speaking to how big your heart is. That's all it is. It's like, I don't want to fight with you no more, okay? White flag. White flag. I'm not fighting with you. Okay? You love me and I love you. That is literally the vibe that I'm getting for Scorpio. <laughs> so it's like a lot of you are about to knock on their door like, all right, are we done fighting? Or somebody's going to knock on your door. Are you done fighting with me? Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's get some Oracle messages. We're going to do some Oracle now. Okay. We're going to be using the Wisdom Oracle. Ooh. new life Scorpio a lot of you could be getting pregnant or you're trying to get pregnant or you're thinking about children this is a good time for you to create that okay Scorpio a lot of you are literally about to embrace a new beginning with someone or something you're embracing a new chapter in your life Scorpio so all the jokes aside you're embracing something that's coming in for you that's meant for you Scorpio you're also letting something go because you're just tired of being in this energy of feeling like everything is against you and you're also tired of listening to somebody that's hyping you up to stay in this shit you don't want to stay in this and you're bigger than this energy Scorpio get out of it remove yourself from this person please someone is depleting someone is just drowning draining your energy so who you thought was evil is not the evil person. It's the person that's actually hyping you up to believe in this energy. That's the person you actually have to let go of. Lord, my camera is crooked. It's all good. The message still applies. <laughs> okay. Okay. Clean it up. Now in the movie, Mr. And Mrs. Smith, the house was a mess, but they cleaned it up. They hooked, they, they, they made up in the end. Or at least in the end of that scene, right? That's what I'm seeing for Scorpio. It's like everything looks destroyed. We done fought each other. We felt how we felt. Or I was fighting myself. But now I'm sitting in my destruction. And I'm going to have some orange juice. And I'm just going to get over it. It's cool. It's fine. I'm just going to heal from it. I'm just going to accept this. I'm going to admit this to myself. I don't want to fight anymore. Or I don't want to fight with myself. Exchanging of gifts. Somebody wants to love on you, Scorpio, so bad. Or love wants to flow in for Scorpio. Okay? 
Don't fight with yourself. Make the decision. And if it's, if it's not relationship, Scorpio, it's, it's needing to make a decision that you've been wanting to make. Like, you've been wanting to do this. You, you've been wanting to make this happen. Maybe you were scared. But now it's like, you know what? I don't want to fight with myself. I'm doing it. Do it. This is going to be the month of action and just being like, okay, I'm done with the shits. I'm done. Okay. Okay. Guys. Say you're sorry. Say you're sorry. But a lot of you are not going to say sorry. A lot of you are just going to like come back like, hi. <laughs> So, listen, I don't want to fight anymore. <laughs> or someone's coming to you. Hi. I don't want to fight anymore. <laughs> Forgive. Let it go. Calling on to soulmate. And when you forgive, you're able to attract a love that's good for you. A lot of you are like, I'm going to go get my person back. Or I'm going to forgive so I can meet my person. Oh. And if you're cross watching for a Scorpio male, this is how this person feels about you. Okay. Love yourself first. That is a message. And then we have engagement. Yeah. A deepening of a bond or relationship is coming. It's worth waiting for for Scorpio. Okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't know why I started humming. I just get so like in the trance of what I'm doing. Okay, Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. Some of you are going to be apologizing to someone. I'm just being honest. Some of you are going to just be like, you know what? I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I know what I said was wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, can you forgive me? And Scorpio, I love that. I love that. So it's not that you guys don't like apologizing. It's just you guys don't like putting yourself in situations where that has to be the case, you know. But here's the thing. I actually feel that the both of you will be apologizing to each other. Or someone's going to be apologizing to you. And you will apologize for wherever part that you played in that. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because what I feel is toxic is not owning up to your mistakes. Okay. I know we joke about the signs that don't apologize. Or we joke about who's stubborn and who isn't. But the most mature thing to do is to just own up to your part you know it's not saying i'm sorry if or i'm sorry but it's just saying i apologize and genuinely meaning it because my motto is anything after if or but is bullshit if you tell me i'm sorry if that no no that's not an apology or if you say i'm sorry but that's also not an apology because that's still you defending where you stand and you're just saying sorry but not really I actually feel that for Scorpio, the both of you are going to just come to this place of just saying, I'm sorry. Like, someone's going to definitely come to you and say, I'm sorry. Scorpio, someone is apologizing to you in the month of April. And I feel that you guys are going to apologize back. And, oh, I just, oh, I just felt my heart drop. I feel like this is going to help you guys just, I don't, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be crying or just feeling relieved. Just like, thank you. Cause I don't want to be mad no more. Like, <laughs> like I don't want to fight no more. Like, like Scorpio, I just feel like you just don't want to be in this shit no more. You, you just want to, you don't want to be mad at this person, male, female, friend, family member, lover, situationship, marriage. You don't want this anymore. You're just like, you know what? Let's start over. Now, here's the thing about Scorpio. It may not be what it used to be, but you guys can start over to what it can be. Okay last card paying attention to the red flags so for some scorpio if you are like in relationship oh no if you're like dating and there's something that you're seeing that's not sitting well with you pay attention to that because that's your intuition speaking let's pull some tarot cards for paying attention to red flags okay paying attention to red flags what do scorpio need to pay attention to okay the hermit yeah, that friend, that person, that person that is like hyping you up, the seven of swords and the five of swords. Scorpio, it's almost like you're going to be falling out with someone to gain back the person that you lost in all of this. You're going to be falling out with someone or you're going to be removing yourself from a situation or you're going to be removing yourself from like a job or something that you thought was giving to you, but it's not giving to you. And you're going to come back to what is giving to you. 
A lot of you are also thinking about changing up your careers or doing more of something in your career. Doing less of something and doing more of something. Scorpio. Let's focus on Scorpio. Universe, how does this person feel about Scorpio? Scorpio, close your eyes. Take three deep breaths. Everyone that's watching this video, close your eyes and take three deep breaths. Okay? Think about the person that you are wondering about right now. Ask the question within your mind. Keep this to yourself. You can even speak it aloud. Take another deep breath and ask the question from your heart. And I know y'all going to do this in private because y'all don't want anybody knowing what you guys are asking. I know how private you guys are. I am focusing on a person that you guys are wondering about. Ask the question and I will pull the card. Okay, you guys are ready. The answer to your question. The answer to your question. Oh, a lot of cards flew up. Hold on. Okay. How does this person feel about you? So Scorpio, they could feel that you may have this deep emotion about this, about the person, but you're not showing it to this person. Do you even care? It's what they have to ask you. Okay. Okay. A lot of you ask, are they ready to receive me? Yeah, nah. And I need more time. Okay. So now it's like they have their wall up, right? Or this could be your energy. This could be the other way around. So let's... Let's dive a little deeper. Because we, we picked up on the person's fear or we picked up on your fear, right? But let's go deeper. Let's go deeper beyond fear. Let's get to source. Let's get to the root, right? The root. I meant what I said. Okay. I'm too afraid to talk. So Scorpio, I'm not going to lie. You are getting an apology. Some of you are going to be getting an apology where it comes to you. But there's also people that are scared to approach you. Because they know that they want to have this conversation with you, Scorpio. But I think y'all turned up on this person. Because now they're scared to approach you. So let's pull some tarot messages. Will this person come around? temperance the moon they're scared they want to but they're scared so scorpio it it might have to be you if, if if this is about reconnecting with someone and trying to just get to the bottom of something it might have to be you you might have to call this meeting you might have to be like let's meet up this is what i mean by waving the white flag they're scared of you or they're not ready to they're not doing this or a lot of them feel like it's not going to be me it needs to be you yikes all right scorpio that's what i'm seeing leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think about this reading okay i took my time my sweet old time with this reading okay and um don't forget to subscribe you know give this video a thumbs up and let me know you guys love these videos i would love to hear your input on this jumble of a energetic reading that we just did for scorpio in the month of april and i will be back in may mm -hmm. love you guys bye